Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm going to be doing a reading for the super new moon in Pisces and I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be reading from this beautiful moonology book, um, Diary 2023. Um, if this interests you, I'll put the link below in the description box and maybe I'll remember, I'll put it in the comments. Um, it'll be an affiliate link. And these are the tools that I buy to help me read, to help me get new insight on things. Um, this will talk about every full moon, every new moon in the year, which is fabulous. And there's so much more in it. You can write little jot little notes this week. Um, what are you grateful for this week, which is great. Um, and the full moon, it tells you, gives you affirmation of the week. It's really a nice book, and it shares a lot. It has all kinds of goodies in it. So if this interests you, I'll leave the link. When you purchase from my affiliate link, you're actually helping the channel, and it's no extra cost to you, because I get a little something every time you buy off of that link. So it's great. And um, I'm going to read you what it says for our beautiful super new moon in Pisces. Uh, the key words and ideas for this lunation is mystical moments, healing opportunities, change your mind, destiny calling. This book also tells you here the dates and times of this moon. So London, 20th of February, 705. Sydney, 20th of February, 1805. LA, 19th of February, 2305. And New York, 20th of February, 205. And this is really special for me because it's very close to my birthday. It's the day after is my birthday. So, um, yeah, don't worry. I'll remind you day of promise. <laughs> so I'll read you a little bit what it says here. It's fantastic. It's it's telling you everything that you, um, that you can take advantage of with this super new moon. Okay? If you're on the spiritual path, and chances are, that if you're reading this diary, you probably are, that this is a really important new moon to pay attention to. It's in the very mystical sign of Pisces. Yes, we are. And it's very gentle and an inspiring lunation. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and is where we dream. We are your dreams for yourself. What are your dreams for yourself and the people you love in, your, in the year ahead? Now is the time to imagine them as reality. Feel them as real in your body as you do the new moon exercises on the following pages. Feeling them as real is the first step to manifesting them. We know this, right? Also note that this new moon is making what's called an out-of-sign conjunction to Saturn, the planet of hard work, responsibilities, challenges, and commitments. The conjunction is where the planets are in the same place at the same time, within a few degrees of each other. Each sign has 30 degrees. In this case, Saturn is in the last degrees of Aquarius, and the new moon is taking place just as a few degrees away in early Pisces. So if there's something you need to do in your life to make your dreams more concrete, now is the time to commit to that. Saturn has become has a fearsome reputation, but it is actually the planet that helps us concretize our intentions. So very nice. And then it tells you how to work with this moon. So it says to discover where the energy of this new moon is for you. Find your star sign or rising sign. Here, see which house is involved, and then read a quick guide to the houses. See page 25. See, so if you go to page 25, it's going to give you a quick guide to the house. It tells you what the houses are and um, what they do, what they're responsible for. Like the first house, your appearance and image, self-identity, how you come across to others. Second house, cash, property, possessions. This book is full of gems. So I just wanted to share it with you because this is one of the tools I bought myself in 2023 because I I as I get all as I get on, I don't want to hold on to a million types of different things, especially at the age that I'm getting where things are harder to hold on to. I like having this in my library to look and peruse and see and really inspire before I do any readings for you Pisces as well. 
and I highly suggest it for you. So yeah, a little bit of promotion, but I'm going to be showing you a lot of books, tools, things that I purchase, and if that interests you to get you in the right mindset in 2023 to make your dreams come true and utilize all the powers that come in, hey, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it for you, and I'm going to do it for me. So it's a win-win. All right. So, from the Moonology deck, from the same author, of course, I pulled out the New Moon in Pisces, Attune to the Divine. Absolutely. We knew that having a New Moon in Pisces, especially a super moon, yeah. For some people, they're going to find themselves wandering. I already did it this morning. Okay, I'm an hour late. I was like in my mind, in my imagination, kind of going out there somewhere. You know, it's a time to dream. It is really a time to dream. Just try to pull yourself back because you know you can do it, Pisces. You know that's something we do. So try to bring that back in to make it into something concrete. Okay, like they said, it's time to concretize. It's time to make it uh, meet up the challenge. Take these dreams, jot them down. Bring yourself down every once in a while and just write to yourself. Um, I did this, I did that, and um, yeah, I thought of this and I thought of that. Because you may forget it when you're just floating out there in the world of infinite possibilities. But it's a wonderful thing to have it written down when you're back to working and into the nitty gritty to get it, um, make it into something real. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. Use your best imagination that's going to be hitting you this week, this inspiration, to get, um, I guess, more information um, when you're back at it. I don't know. I'm already out there. I already feel out there, Pisces, okay? I already feel... And why not? This would feel so comfortable to be in the world of imagination. I've been feeling it for like a week coming. I'm... I'm daydreaming. Um, it's so much nicer. But, you know, I've been writing stuff down. So, it's good. It's good. The reason I love this right now, a lot of people would say, oh, I hate Pisces energy. It's not, it's not valid energy. There's nothing in there I can use. It's because, I'm going to tell you right away the secret to it, and you probably already know this, is that you can take this energy and think outside the box. By thinking outside the box, yes, some of this these ideas may be like completely <laughs> out to lunch, but it makes you think in such a vast and, and imaginative way that there's some of these ideas you're going to be able to to grab onto and turn into something else. Okay, from that big idea, you'll be able to take a little point and turn it into reality. It flips the script to a lot of stuff. I really like that. So, attune to the divine this week. Attune to your imagination. Know you are loved. I love this new moon in Libra, but it's 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 know you are loved. I love that. Unleash your kindest self. Absolutely, be kind to yourself this week, and um, this week in in this new moon coming in. This is a this is a little cheap deck that I got. It is so paper thin, okay, but I couldn't help. It was like ten dollars at a at a bookstore, and. Um, I had to. I'm going to take the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I think I may end up like doing a vision board or something with this. It's just a regular Rider weight. <clears throat> wisdom of the Hidden Realm. I picked this one specifically because of us Pisces, right? I feel we're in the hidden realm. <laughs> Lady of the Gift. Generosity receiving and withholding. But what really hit me, the Lady of the Gift, is I feel you have to see this week as a gift. Like I said, we get a lot of flack, I feel, Pisces, about mm, being the flighty um, sign. You know, we get caught up in fantasy and and maybe a lot of the times that's why they say some Pisces have um, have substance abuse problems or stuff like that because we 
the harsh reality of the world is it's hard for a lot of Pisces. It's it's nothing we want to live in. I mean, look at the world and how nasty they are. And we get blamed for looking for escapism. Okay? So I've heard a lot of times, and I know, I know this happens. I know I've used escapism in my own life to get away from very horrid things, especially as a child. Um, but I did it in my imagination. I created worlds. Um, I never did it in, in other, like, substance abuse, like drugs or alcohol. Um, my parents did that enough for me, so it, it, I really didn't want to go there. I didn't like the way day turned out, so it was a great, um, how, how do you say that? I, it was a, uh, they did me a favor by showing me that, so that I didn't want to try, okay? So again, you see, from them being alcoholics, hmm, they gave me the greatest gift. I never looked to go in that direction. So thank God and thank them for it as well. Thank them for uh, bringing that lesson in. But the one thing that I love about us escaping in our imagination, especially if you find a song, like I posted a, a few weeks ago, um, which song you liked, if you hadn't seen that post, it was really fun. Um, you can kind of sway to it and your mind and your energy kind of floats towards it. And while you're in that realm, you feel free and beautiful and special and happy. Okay? And when you're in that state, that's the important part. When you come back down from there, what you need to do is hold on to that feeling. And what we don't utilize is asking for ideas and things that can come in. You can actually sit and be in that state of energy of beauty and you're already like flying high in your the beautiful world that you've created for yourself and then you can ask the divine questions. You know, how can I creatively do this? How can I, you know, get past these blocks creatively in a, in a most beautiful way? And you may have these crazy, beautiful ideas coming through, but trust me, there are some of these things you're going to be able to integrate somewhat into what you're doing today. Even if 99% uh, of it can't be used, there'll be 1% of it that you can adapt and grow and build on. And it might be something that you have not thought of before, hasn't been done before. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That's the biggest one. They're saying don't discount anything this week because Pisces is used to having um, people tell us that we can't do things, that we don't know how to do things. Oh, look at all this. This is so beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah, look, look. Okay, personal balance, a breakthrough, letting all of this intuition and inspiration in to bring in transformation. Yeah. Let this moon guide you into something. It's going to bring you personal. <laughs> There's Pisces, of course. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the other sense of balance. This is, um, yeah. Do You don't feel like things are fair? Make them fair. Bring them in for yourself, Pisces. Okay. Bring, it, bring them in for yourself. Okay. There you go. All right, so at the end, you also had, like that came out, is the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Moon. All, all water, okay? All water here. And this Moon is make illusion into intuition into reality. Knight of Cups is infusing passion, and the King of Cups is to bring stability in your life emotionally. So I want you to get rid of all of those things that you've heard from Pisces, because I know I've heard them. I've heard them. I've I've been told one time I I'm, <laughs> I'm the person who's kept like our family, um, like above board and and you know kept us safe financially. In other words, I've organized all the financials. Like I've told you before, I'm like I have Capricorn Moon. I'm the most. Um, <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm the most grounded Pisces that I know. 
the thing is, is that sometimes when I'm talking to people, when I'm trying to stretch my Pisces um, fins, as they say, um, I get the reaction of, is it nice to live in La La Land? And I've always taken that when I was younger as such an insult because I thought, you can depend on me for anything. Telling me I live in La La Land is like somebody telling me I'm, I'm, I'm always in the clouds and I can't be depended upon. And I always took it such as a, um, I don't know, um, an insult, you know, and I, I, I get so upset. And every time I hear it's like, oh, Pisces, you're about escapism. Yes, but we have the greatest dreams. We expand ourselves. We don't stay stuck in the little cubby hole that you make for us. As soon as you try to put us in there, we try to break out. Because we know what life is. But we also know that we can make it a, a a better place, something that fits, because otherwise, if we never break out, we never fit in. We never have that sense of balance come in. So it's important at all costs that you don't let anybody come in and give you negativity about your sign or how that sign is going to hinder you. Let's be clear, all signs, all energies have a possibility to hinder you in some way. In all the air signs, you can be too flighty. In all the fire signs, you can be going where fools, um, you know, uh, being, <laughs> where fools uh, don't want to rush in. Oh my God, I'm saying that wrong. Um, and if you're a, an earth sign, you can be too grounded and too settled in your ways. So, of course, there's always... Um, there's always a negative, but I don't want you to feel negative about you this week, in the next couple, couple, the upcoming weeks. I want you to embrace your Pisces, and I want you to use it to um, get you further. Never mind about what people say. Never mind if they say, hey, you're in the moon a lot. You can tell them, I'm planning my next big success. And, and shut them up, okay? Let them do, let them think what they want. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to um, take the time to be you, okay? <laughs> it's so important for me right now. I need to get this message out. But I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convince you, Pisces, okay? So the Six of Pentacles and as well, these are both saying the same thing if you see. Generosity, receiving, withholding. This is the Six of Pentacles. It's the same thing. So this is being you. To me, that's the Six of Pentacles has always been the card of balancing yourself out. I've always put it in this way. If you have food for both an elephant and a mouse, you're not going to feed them the same amount. You're going to give them their balanced, measured portions, but it's still in complete balance. And that's what the Six of Pentacles is for me. Balance yourself out for who you are, Pisces. Don't try to make yourself fit into any other category or any other energy. You are a Pisces. If you feel being a Pisces is what you're meant to be, be that. Okay? So when you see that, you're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to really, like, sit in your power with the Queen of Cups. You're going to sit and go, I am a mature and sensitive, romantic, beautiful person. I'm empathic. I'm receptive. I'm introspective. I'm psychic. I'm emotional. I'm a dreamer. I'm a counselor. I'm a mother. And even if you have male uh, masculine energy, you can say that as well. You have that feminine energy of receiving. And you have that death card here coming in saying, here comes the transformation. Okay? Because when you're embracing your sign fully, you transform. Of course you do. So, Page of Cups, your true nature. Of course you're in your true nature. So, breakthrough. Breakthrough in your true nature. Being accountable for your choices. In other words, you're no longer what you get is what you're going to give. So, what you put in, you're going to get out. So, make sure that what you're putting in is what you want out of it. Okay? It's all about perspective here, and it has nothing to do with what other people think you are or their definition of you. You have to create the definition of you. Okay? So grow that, build on it, and take charge. Take charge of who you are and be proud. I am working on my next biggest goal, my next biggest success. You're going to see 
what I do will change the world, and it will change the world. It will change your world, even if it's a little thing that you change every day to make your life better. You have access and you have the right to say that. It will bring you such a stability because everything you build upon will be what you want. It is something that you have custom built for yourself. And you'll never feel bad. You'll never feel like you have to explain yourself. You won't have to say, well, I did that because I did that. No, I did it because I am who I am. Because I am Pisces. I'm balancing myself out. I am who I am. So, know that you're loved. You're loved by me. You're loved by spirit. And you are absolutely loved divinely by your peers, by other Pisces in this world who understand what it's like to be Pisces, attuned to the divine, right there, these two cards closely linked together, and unleash your kindest self, be kind to yourself, and you will be able to be kind to others as well. All right, my beautiful one, so this is for your full moon, your super full moon. Remember, super means it's more intense than just the regular, um, not full moon, new moon. It's more intense than just the regular um, moon. It's bigger. So for some people, they may feel a little hazy during this time, but for you, it's a great time to have pen and paper available and write down every single insane, beautifully grand and, and wild um, escapist thought and adventure that you have these days. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings, and I'm going to follow up with your reading for today. Take care, Pisces. See you later.